I'm Aaron Negler. I'm here with Don Banks, breaking down the Denver Broncos 2016 NFL Draft. Don, John Elway, has he kind of backed himself into a corner here at the quarterback position? Does he have to take a quarterback in this draft? Have you ever seen number seven sweat? No. 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 Look, I think they're in a position where they know they have to take a quarterback. But let's say the Kaepernick deal, the long-anticipated but not executed Kaepernick deal, (laughs) goes down on the clock. Right. Well, then then the pressure's off for them to take a quarterback. But yeah, I do believe, it, barring that development, I think they're going to come out of this first or second round with the quarterback. Now, flipping over to the defensive side, with Von Miller, all sorts of ink about his contract in the headlines lately. Does he have to look at pass rush? I mean, I'm not necessarily saying outside linebacker, but pass rush in general, maybe a little earlier than he would have liked to in this draft? Uh, maybe a little bit. I, I don't think they're in a desperation mode. Right? They signed Jared Crick, the former Texan defensive end in free agency, not a high-profile move whatsoever. They brought DeMarcus Ware back at a, at a cheaper price. I don't think they're worried that Von Miller is not going to be ready and, and raring to go come hmm. regular season. I think that deal gets done in time. I think they very well could go D-line. In my latest mock, I've, I've given him Robert Kemdichi, the Mississippi sure. uh, defensive lineman. His pass rush isn't exclusively his calling card, but he, he adds a little bit of that element. So I do think they'll go D-line. It might even get first round attention, but I don't think they feel desperate to add pass rush. This is a team that cut Owen Daniels, saw Vernon Davis walk out the door. Maybe not a premier position, but do they look at tight ends in this draft? And who might they come away with, say, day two or day three? Yeah, Greg Kubiak, the head coach, has said that they, they need to add a, a, a tight end in this draft. And I was really surprised they let Owen Daniels go because yeah. Kubiak and him are a long-running show, obviously. <laughs> right. Houston, Baltimore. Like three teams in a row, And then right? Denver. Yeah. So I don't know if they know how to play and coach without each other. But I do think uh, Austin Hooper of Stanford, a Jarrell Adams, South Carolina, those are guys that are considered the second, third, maybe third or fourth best tight ends in the draft. I think Denver's going to get one of them before day three. Pulling back, looking 30,000 feet, John Elway kind of went all in for that championship that they're celebrating still in Denver. Has he bought himself a few years of goodwill where like, if this draft is a total bust, if the quarterback position completely uh, submarines this team. Is he okay for a year or two just because he's got that shiny new Lombardi? Yes, in a word. You remember that Saturday Night Live skit where Clinton walked up to the camera and said, I am bulletproof and walked away? <laughs> That's what I think of John Elway right. right now in Denver. Look, two Super Bowl trips out of three years, right. playoffs all four years. Right now, what he says is gospel. Um, I was one of the doubters. I did not Me see too. him taking yep. to this job the way yep. he has. I, th- I saw a version of Dan Marino, too, mm-hmm. in Miami with, eh, uh, this isn't really, I'm not cut out for this. Right. But he's done it. He's delivered. I think he gets the benefit of the doubt for at least the next two years. Let's be honest. Last Super Bowl team to, to not have either of their starting quarterbacks was the 2000 Ravens losing Dilfer and Tony Banks. They're in the same situation 15 years later. Let's see how the story turns out. There you go. Breaking it down for the Denver Broncos in the 2016 NFL Draft. Don Banks. I'm Aaron Nagler for SI.com.